Are you wondering what aircraft was used in military missions back during World War II? Compared to today's technology, the aircraft in the past were far from modern systems attached to them. However, it is undoubtful that some airplanes were very versatile in their era. One of the aircraft deployed during World War II that had proven to successfully perform a variety of tasks, including air-to-air -air combat, ground attack, and light bomber, is the legendary American Vought F-4U Corsair. The F-4U Corsair's development began in early 1938 under Chance Vought aircraft and unveiled its iconic design as the fighter bomber. Igor Zikorsky and Rex Basil were credited with the design. Then Vought had developed a F-4U prototype by May 1940. The prototype exposed the new fighter's inverted gull wings, which gave the aircraft an instantly identifiable face when viewed head-on, and ground clearance for the huge 13-foot propeller. Thus, these could make a full use of the aircraft, powerful engine, and enable shorter, stronger landing gear of the F-4U for a carrier-based aircraft. On its debut flight on May 29, 1940, the Corsair surpassed the speed record for a single-seat fighter aircraft hitting 400 miles per hour in level flight. Although, at the same time, the cockpit was located far back on the fuselage, causing pilots to have poor line of sight. The aircraft also tended to bounce while landing, which was not ideal for an aircraft carrier. However, the technical problems were eventually resolved. Soon after that, the Navy ordered Vought to begin manufacturing this aircraft. The F-4U, one of the best aircraft of all time, was purposefully built to carry multiple roles, such as carrier-based fighter, fighter-bomber, and night fighter. With a length of 34 feet, the aircraft featured a wingspan of 41 feet. It was propelled by Pratt & Whitney R2800 Double Wasp, producing up to 2,450 horsepower. Therefore, the F-4U was able to reach a maximum speed of 453 to 446 miles per hour at 26,200 feet, with a cruising speed of 215 miles per hour and service ceiling of 41,500 feet. These made the F-4U Corsairs the first American fighters to exceed 400 miles per hour and the first to have a 2,000 horsepower engine. This aircraft also had a maximum range of 1,560 miles and effective combat range of 900 miles. As a powerful fighter bomber, the F-4U could carry maximum load of 4,000 pound bombs or eight 5-inch aircraft rockets. Its armaments also include 650 caliber Browning machine guns or 4.79 caliber AN-M3 or 20 millimeter cannons. The F-4U Corsair saw battle in 1943. It took place in Guadalcanal, where this F-4U was operated for the first time in combat by the Marine Corps. The swift and strong aircraft proved the aerial supremacy over the legendary Japanese Zero, giving the Allied naval aviators an advantage over their opponents. The Japanese Zero was a highly nimble aircraft that had previously surpassed all U.S. fighters. From Guadalcanal, Corsairs participated in practically every major Pacific operation. When they headed to attack against Tokyo, the Corsairs flew over the Solomons, Rabaul, the Carolines, Peleliu, the Marshalls, the Philippines, Iwo Jima, Okinawa, and Japan from island bases and Navy flat tops. According to high Japanese officers at the conclusion of the war, the Corsair was the best fighter in use by any Pacific force. Other than the Pacific, the aircraft achieved aerial history in the Indian Ocean and the North Sea. The F-4U Corsair, known for its speed, toughness, and firepower, excelled as both a fighter and an assault aircraft in support of the U.S. ground forces. It had almost 2,000 victories flown by Navy and Marine aviators, with a loss of only 189 units. Corsair pilots killed more than 500 enemy aircraft by the end of 1943, totaling 2,140 by the conclusion of the war in August 1945. Major Gregory, Pappy Boyington, of the Marine Corps, was responsible for 28 total enemy deaths. These numbers were made possible in part by the 64,000 sorties 
flown by F-4U pilots throughout the war. Allied pilots finally outnumbered their Japanese opponents with 11 to 1 ratio. During 1950 alone, F-4U Corsairs were responsible for over 80% of all U.S. Marine and Navy ground strike operations. Not only that, after spending much of 1944 in cleanup operations in the South and Central Pacific, where the Corsair came as a dive bomber, attack aircraft, and night fighter, the F-4U was destined to be the number one carrier-based fighter in the world. This is what the British Fleet Air Arm, or FAA, used the F-4U for. While the U.S. Marines had success with their Corsairs from land bases, the FAA deployed the aircraft in its original purpose as a carrier-based fighter. In terms of this role, the Corsair acquired wings that were 8 inches shorter than their American counterparts in order to fly aboard the space-constrained British carriers. The British Navy Corsair Mark IIs of No. 1834 Squadron were utilized on April 3, 1944 to attack the German battleship KMS Tirpitz. This is the death of the battleship Tirpitz. RAF Lancasters roar to the attack. Another blockbuster heads for the target. Perfect weather. Switch and therefore, away. the British airmen were equally devoted to their Corsairs ever since. For these reasons, in addition to being used largely in World War II from 1939 to 1945, the F-4U was also used in the Korean War from 1950 to 1953, as well as other Cold War conflicts by air forces across the globe, including the Royal Navy the Royal New Zealand Air Force, and French Naval Aviation until the 1960s. By the end of the Corsair's production run in 1952, about 13,000 units had been produced by three manufacturers, Vought, Goodyear, and Brewster. F-4U aircraft were Corsairs from Vought. While Goodyear's Corsairs were designated FG, and the Brewster's Corsairs were designated F-3A, which are now part of the museum's collection. The initial F-4U-1, also known in the fleet air arm as Corsair Mark I, was followed by the late first batch F-4U-1A, or Corsair Mark II, and 700 Brewster-built F-3A-1, or Corsair Mark III. On the other hand, the F-4U-1C, with 420mm cannon armament, and F-4U-1D with P&W R-2800 8W water-injected engine were fighter-bomber forms that carried two 1,000-pound bombs or eight 5-inch rockets. In contrast, the F-4U-1P served as a photo-reconnaissance platform, and the X-4FU-2 was an experimental night fighter. The F-4U-2, which was based on the F-4U-1, was yet another night fighter variant. There was also the XF-4U-2 as a late-war night fighter that operated in the VFN-75 and VFN-101 squadrons. Finally, the F-4U-4, with its stronger engine, was the last Corsair version to sea duty during World War II, appearing in late 1944. The F-4U-4 came with F-4U-4C, which featured four 20mm M2 cannons rather than the original six machine gun F-4U-4E and F-4U-4N. As additional night fighters equipped with radar, F-4U-4P as another photo platform. However, later in 1945, F-4U-5 appeared and missed out on World War II duty. It was motorized by greater power by P&W R-2800 32E engine producing 2,850 horsepower. This is also followed by the production of the F-4U-6 as the specialized USMC ground assault version that was later renamed the AU-1. That's all for today. If you have a different opinion about the capabilities of the historical F-4U fighter bomber, drop your comment below and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and see you next time.